the state government's vision is to transform the education ecosystem by investing in child centric interventions along the entire canvas of the education value chain to improve the learning outcomes with a specific focus on foundation literacy and numeracy to make every child globally competitive based on the positive feedback and appreciation received at the national and international level for the flagship programs initiated for achieving the sdgs the government nominated 10 students delegations along with two officers and two teachers to the sdg summit all 10 students are underprivileged and benefited from the reforms in education and got selected for this delegation of their academic excellence this is one of the expected outcomes of the ap education reform the state project director samagra siksha sri b srinivas rao ias headed the delegation the delegation was provided with passports and visas by the government students were accommodated in a camp for a week before their departure and groomed by teachers and representatives from ufos learning comfort travel stay in transport arrangements were made logistics such as suitcases clothes shoes and thermals were provided to the students by the government the delegation departed on the 14th september night Sri Ratnakar Pandugayala, Special Representative of Andhra Pradesh for North America, welcomed the team at New York Airport. Students participated in SDG Mobilization Day on 16 September 2023 as a part of SDG Action Weekend, which is a lifetime achievement in experiencing the UN General Assembly Hall for unprivileged students. Students have also participated in the opening plenary session of the SDG Summit Mobilization. first trip to us we are in united nation headquarters we are participating in the sdg summit this is the first time to sit in united nations general assembly hall we are very happy and feeling proud to represent andhra pradesh i am always thankful to rcm sir for giving us the opportunity on the next day students participated in educate a child and eco ambassador programs conducted by the center for sustainable development columbia university new york In this meeting, students had discussions with students from various countries like Canada, Uganda, and Kenya, among us others, on various topics like sustainable development goals, how to be an environmental ambassador, and how to elevate the standard of education the world over. Students quoted the program Swetcha in these discussions. Famed Columbia University professor Jeffrey Sachs commended the Andhra Pradesh government's dedication to education. At the SDG Conference 2023 conducted by the Journalist and Writers Foundation at John Jay College of Criminal Justice New York students were exposed to the panel discussions on building new momentum towards the 2030 deadline for the SDGs press freedom as a instrument to defend human rights for all widening gap between the erosion of democracy and rise of autocracy during the discussions students were impressed by the topic of gender equality and enjoyed the moment on the passage of the women's reservation bill in both houses of parliament of india in the international youth conference students participated in the intervention from the floor in youth governance for sdgs in india session firstly i want to talk about the role of youth in policy making youth are the future leaders of our country and that is important that they are given an opportunity to lead us into a bright future and youth have always been the Uh, driving force behind the social and economic development and they will continue to play a vital role in the economic development and also nation building as we were the instrument in transforming the country into the one of the fastest growing economies in the world at present out of these 17 sustainable development goals there are some areas where youth can make an immediate action they are the uh, no poverty good health and well being and um, quality education under this quality education our state government provide us many initiatives like school infrastructure transformation providing good food and increased student uh, dignity and many more uh, with a target to achieve the sustainable development goals well before 2030 Students visited the World Bank in Washington DC where they were invited for an informal lunch followed by an elaborate session on education and health with leading World Bank officials. 
At the onset of the engagement, the World Bank loaded all the initiatives taken by the government in the field of education. Sri B. Srinivas Rao, IAS, thanked the World Bank for supporting Andhra Learning Transformation, SALT, which is a $250 million project. He thanked the World Bank for its support of $51 million and requested the next installment of $51 million. The World Bank expressed its deep desire to get more involved in the government's objective to invest in human capital. Sri Ratnakar Pandugaila, Special Representative of Andhra Pradesh for North America, stated the Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Redigaru, spending more money on education in the form of investing in human capital. Later, the World Bank officials asked Andhra Pradesh government school students to throw in ideas of how this engagement can be more effective in the future. The proposals flagged by the students are to design a program specially to sensitize the parent community to prioritize and encourage education, to set up a common online platform for students across the world to exchange ideas and discuss topics like climate change and sustainable development kickstart numerous exchange programs with the top foreign universities, introduction of activity clubs in government schools, environment, culture, to introduce the model United Nations concept and hold state-level competitions on the same. Students visited the U.S. Department of State and explained about the state government reforms in education towards achieving the SDG goals. Students visited the International Monetary Fund, IMF headquarters. During this enlightening visit, the students had the chance to engage with distinguished leaders, IMF Deputy Managing Director Geeta Gopinath. She posted on X a picture taken with the students. Dr. Subramanian, IMF Executive Director for India, inspired young minds by emphasizing the importance of self-belief, hard work and contributing to the nation. This is a very nice initiative on the part of the Andhra Pradesh state government to fund uh, the trip for these uh, very, very bright but kids from humble backgrounds to come and see the world. Um, after all, as an economist, I can see the value that education plays um, not only in an individual's life but in their entire family's life. For if one kid uh, really learns and um, earns very well the entire family gets uplifted and through families getting uplifted the, the state and the country gets uplifted as well so very nice model that many states can look to emulate as well uh, in you know inspiring because uh, the experience that these kids have had they will never forget their entire lives um, and the inspiration that they themselves have got when they will uh, be in an opportunity you know in a situation to inspire they will draw back on these experiences so this is money really well invested um, and uh, it's a very nice initiative on the on behalf of the Andhra Pradesh government which many uh, other state governments actually would, would uh, do well to emulate. The delegation visited the White House where the President and First Family of the United States live in war. Apart from the meetings, the delegation visited Rockefeller Center, Apple 5th Avenue 24 by 7 store, the World Trade Center, the 9 by 11 Memorial One World Observatory, Walmart, Jones Beach, Niagara Falls, Capitol Hill, Lincoln Memorial, Central Park, Intrepid Museum, Air and Space Museum. The outcome of the tour is that the energy and enthusiasm displayed by these students underscore the significance of youth engagement and education. The government's efforts to nurture such maturity and critical thinking in students from ordinary government schools have gained widespread recognition. Overall, the strides made in the education sector in Andhra Pradesh have transcended borders and inspired educational reforms in foreign nations. Thanks to Sri V. Shakin Kumar, Special Consultative Status Member, ACBU SOC, United Nations, for concept and consultation. Heartfelt thanks to Sri Ratnakar Pandugayala, Special Representative of Andhra Pradesh for North America for his continuous support since arrival to departure from the U.S. Our sincere thanks to the officials of the Chief Minister's Office for the timely approvals and support offered to this program. Special thanks to Dr. Hari Krishna, Special Secretary to Honorable Chief Minister for his intervention in obtaining the visa slots with minute-to-minute -minute correspondence to the U.S. Embassy. Our sincere thanks to the Honorable Minister for Education, Sri Bacha Satchanarayanagaru, 
for his close monitoring and follow up to make the program successful the school education department conveys heartfelt thanks to the honorable chief minister sri vyas jaganmohan reddy garu for his thought vision and initiation to depute the student delegation and make it a success thank you cm sir we make and proud